current one. Then my stop loss will be under this. Let's thing. buy it together now. Let's let's hold on and buy this thing together. Let's do this thing yes, together. Right, this I'll wait for the next candle. The next candle is gonna close in the next two minutes. I've entered my first. I've entered. I've entered my first leg now. And the stop loss is gonna be profit is gonna be at this same point again. So the stop loss will be six three four. That's my stop loss. One point two three four. Yes. One point six. One point two three six four. One point two three six four. Yes, I'm yes, a minute. A minute already. With I'm in profit leg. now. I'm leg. in profit now. I'm in profit now. Yes, so I'm, a, I'm buying on my two accounts. Without wasting much of our time, uh, we're starting right away. All right, so I welcome you all to today's uh, section. So I'm Omar Jason Waiki by name. So, all right, uh, from what we did last week, uh, do we have anyone that got any questions? Uh, is there any challenges in respect to what we did last week? Yes, uh, uh, sir. I just wanted us to, you know, for the benefit of maybe for the purpose of uh, having it on record, because now you are recording this one. Apparently, I think you recorded last week. So what the benefit no, of I didn't. Was... I was not able to record last week. Oh, good. So you can just maybe for the first 10 minutes, just quickly, just brief us through again, you know, the four indications. Okay, it was five anyway. You added yours to it, you know. But the four major one, you know, psychological level, high and low, trend line, M and W pattern. Again, just quickly, you know, so that we're going to today. A cap of what we did last week. So I said, uh, firstly, the first thing we have to do, we have to set our uh, psychological level. Secondly, we have to set our high and low of the week. And then uh, there are four confluence table in which I explained last week. But uh, for the benefit of those that were not around, I'm just going to do a recap of it. So you come here on your trading view. I believe we all know how to go about our trading view. But uh, in case you don't, in case you don't, just go to any browser. Just type out trading view. So it's going to load. So here is our trading view. And uh, label as the first question I have here. You can put zero, zero. That is one. Are we there? One point. Just double click on the line, any of the line. Double click on it. Are we on the same page? Okay, this here is the here is the this. oh it has to be fifty pip interval. Let's say we have one point two zero zero zero. The next one will be one point two five zero zero zero. One point two one zero zero. One point two one zero zero. The next one will be one point two one five zero zero. You understand? That's just like 50 pip interval. We call it five or you know, 50 pip because the last zero we don't count it. The last zero we don't count it. Now my question is why is pipet? The last zero is pipet. Yes, the last zero we call it pipet in forest. The last the last figure we call it pipet on GBP USD. As you can see now, we have two four four nine. You can see these two. It's up, like raised to power. So that's pipette. Okay. It's not counted as pip. So it is pipette. So all these ones, they are pipette. Okay. It's only for GBP. For other pairs, they are different. Do we get that? Yes, sir. Now, my question is, why 1.25? Why not 1.24? Yeah, we can use... We are, we are still going to... We want oh, to... Okay. You just want to set some... Maybe like 10. Then we use this for example. Yeah. 
I've removed all the drawings I have on my on my chart. So we'll go to four hours firstly. So once we get to four hours, we set our we set up our psychological level by coming to this side. So we pick the horizontal line. Our psychological level has to be uh, a difference of 50 pip. That is, uh, for example, let's say this here now we have 1.22747. It has to be a random number, which is like 1.2200. Then uh, another 50 pip, which will be plus 50. That's 1.22500. Then plus another 50. 1.23500. So I believe, do we understand that, please? I actually did that. Yes. So now, just a little clarification. You know, if you are opening your trade for the day or you're about to open, you open your chart, you are there. So the psychological level, do we have to set it again for the day? No. Once you, have your, continue it for the week. once you have your psychological level set, it's permanent on, on the chart. Okay. It's, so it's not something you need to remove and bring up no, again no. then. No, it's permanent on the chart, except uh, the trend of the market has gone past where your psychological level is. Then you have to add more to it. Oh. That's the only time you you add more to the psychological level. But I want to believe everyone understand what I'm setting here now. I'm just adding 50, 50 pip. So interval of this is 50, 50 pip. So we have uh, our psychological level sets on the chart. So now we have to, we have to break uh, the charts to Monday. So to do that, you just right click or go to settings on your trading view. So you click on settings, then uh, section break, just click on it, you mark it, then you click okay. So we can see each of these lines represents one one day. So because we are on four hours, uh, we are on four hours uh, time frame. So each uh, of this place, represent each day. And then it has to be six candle, which is a uh, six candle, that's six times four, which is 24. And we all know that 24 hours make a day. So let's check this, which is a, uh, let me refresh it back to today. Today is Friday. So like I said last week, I will advise everyone to just, uh, subscribe to trading view so that you will be able to backtest your account today is friday this is this is friday this is friday this is thursday this is wednesday this is tuesday this is monday so we are going to break it from here i hope i'm right monday is on the 16th yes so note to set the high and low of the week, it has to be the first two candle. It has to be the first two candle that will come that will pop up in the week. That is the first two candle that will come out on Monday. And we are on four hours candle. It has to be on four hours uh, time frame. So let's start it. So this is uh this is on the 14th, which is Friday. So the market is about closing here. So we just play it. So now this is the first candle that comes out on Monday. We can see the, the, the separation now. This is this line is between uh, Friday and Monday. So now Monday, the market has opened now. Friday is on the 14th, Monday is on the 16th. So another market has opened now, which is Sunday night. So this is the first candle, and then we press it again. This is the second candle. So in order to set our high and low of for this week, for this week, we have to 
use this this red candle the high and this uh, green candle the low so that's how we set our high and low then to do that come again to this uh, trend line then just click on horizontal rail once you click on horizontal rail place it on the high just place it on the high and also place it on the low i believe we are following please no okay. we are following <clears throat> okay and just place it on the low here so that's how to set up our high and low of the week and then uh for the confluences before we take any trade we have our fourth confluences which is the psychological level, the high and low, trend line, and then chart pattern, which is M and W, okay? So now we've set up two now. We've set up our psychological level, the high and low for this week. So now let's switch to 15 minutes. To get our entry, we have to take our entry from 15 minutes. So now we are Monday. This is Monday market. Do we understand up to this level, please? Do we understand uh, up to this yeah, level? Yes, sure. Do we understand up to this level? Yes, from this side. All right. So watching. So now we have a psychological level, the high and low of the week. So let's let's have a replay of the market. So this is still Monday. We're just trying to backtest what happened this week. So we can see. This is our high of the week, this is the low of the week. So this is Monday. For Jeff's strategy, it doesn't trade on Monday because uh, he wants to see the direction of the market. So we're still going. We're still going. We're still going. We can see the reaction of the of the market now. Okay, so now we are on Tuesday. This is Tuesday market. This is Tuesday. So we continue. We can have a trend line. We can have our trend line. Someone was asking on the group that do we draw trend line on 15 minutes or four hours? You can draw it on 15 minutes and you can draw it on four hours. So far it is valid and relevant for the market. So we can have a trend line like this. Notes for every valid trend line, it must have at least three touches must have three touches. And this is on Tuesday, this is around uh, 7 a.m. Qatar time. So the London market is yet to open. So we continue with our back testing. So this is uh, around, uh, around one o'clock. The London has opened. So uh, do we have anything to do here? What do you, please, you can unmute yourself. What do we expect from the market here? Yeah, here we are expecting the sell because we already have a, a M pattern at the, and there is a buy extended. So and by that time, before the second leg, we need to we should have drawn a trend line. 
to over the first leg. So what? we have trend line there. We have psychological line there. And we have M pattern. Yeah. I think we should be expecting a, a cell at that at that point. From here. From here, right? Yeah, from, from that top. Okay. So why do you why do you say from... a cell? Why do you expect a cell from here, sir? Because if you look at where you if you look at uh, the second my first leg from my from now, so uh, if you look at the psychological level above, there is a rejection, and before that uh, before that touch at the psychological level, we can also see there is a rejection during touch the psychological level. So I assume that first leg, then the one that touch is this. So with that, we can say, we can look out for a cell. Okay, so do we have any other opinion? And now there is another thing here. Now, if, if we have gone for a cell, if we if you look at what is going on now, we can see there is another rejection, that is uh like a break over the break and retest over the uh high of the week, so that another rejection is going on there. So by high this of the time, week, yeah, that, yeah, yes, yes, because okay. yeah, there is another rejection. So which which is likely that we are if our cell will be invalidated, which okay. is likely to take us out. You know, we are assuming that nothing has happened. We are looking at it as if nothing has happened. Yet. Yes. So we are looking at a live trade. So uh, at this point now, I will assume, are we, are we, yeah, that is what I will do. Immediately I see a rejection there. I'm going to adjust my trend line. That is what I'm going to have. And I will be waiting for another leg, which eventually happened at the rejection over the psychological level. So that is, that is what confluence is there because there is a trend line that is a psychological level below it is a high of the week and there is an M pattern. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Now, now, like I said, I am already selling and the sell took me to the high of the week. But getting to Which the high of the week, yes. Okay. Getting to the high of the week, I saw a rejection. This is not a small rejection. So when I saw rejection there, what I will do next is I'm going to adjust my stop loss to either break even or close my entries in partial profits and look for another entry, another entry point. Okay. Or sell, right? You either sell or buy, but this one, it might be most likely to be buy because we may end up having a double bottom over the high of the week. Which we already have a trend line already crossing it, so and we have eye of the week. So we just look for another leg, depending on what plays out. We might if we have another rejection, making it second leg, then I'll be going for a buy. All right, all right, that's good, that's good. So uh, okay, for this kind of markets, if I'm to take this trade, if I'm to take this trade, this is uh, okay. The first leg happened around nine fifteen which London is yet to open. And then we are waiting for the second leg. We have our psychological level here, which is the first uh, confluences. So we have trend line. This trend line is valid. We have trend line here, which is one. Trend line must have three touches. This is two. So we are waiting for the second leg, which move up, up to this point. So, and we have the first leg from here up to this point. And then the second leg went up to touch the, the psychological level again. Okay. So now this is around uh, 12.15, which is uh, we are already in London market. So now we, are, we already have our end pattern here. Wow. We already have our end pattern here. So as a trader that we are using this particular strategy, if we enter a cell from here, from this place, and then we have uh, we have our high of the week here, 
there is 100% chance that it will react, the market will react to this particular point. So if I'm to sell from here, I'll be looking at taking my profit from here or closing like 50% of my trade here. Then I'll break even the rest. Because I know if we observe very well, if we observe the trend of the market from, from Monday, okay, you don't have a clear trend yet. So this is Tuesday. So if I'm to enter this trade, I'll close like 50% of my account here. Then I'll break even the rest. So let's continue the back test. So we can see it took out, I'm very sure it will take out our, our break even. There's a lesson here. That is why it's not, it's not good to always break even very early. But from this point, if we measure from here to here, we already have like a, uh, about 30 pips or about 30 35 34 pip from here to here which i think is good enough if we use one lot from here to here we have like 340 dollars already here so depending on our on our stop loss which is i think this should give like uh almost a one to two risk to reward so let's continue so we are still on Tuesday. We are still on Tuesday. The market is ranging. The market is ranging. The market is ranging between the eye and the psychological level. So now we are Wednesday. This is Wednesday market now. We can see this. So what do we do here? Another person, please, to take this trade for me. If I'm to take this trade for me, I have a, a trend line coming from the low here. Connecting this point. Connecting here. We'll keep adjusting our trend line as the market is moving. So we have this. So if I'm to take this trade, we have the low of the week here. We have our psychological level here. We have the eye of the week here. And then we have our trend line here. We have something like W pattern here. So if I'm to take this trade, I'll be waiting since we have a rejection here. And this is our psychological level. This is trend line. And we have something like M pattern here. For me, and if we observe the market since Monday, it's, it has been ranging between, between this psychological level and this place. The market has been ranging. So, we can actually draw something like this. Market has been reacting here, reacting here. We can have something like this here. So if I'm to take this trade now, if I'm to take this trade, I'll be waiting for, I'll be waiting for the market to come around here, to come and react here. I think I dropped this particular one on the group. This is on Wednesday. I'll be waiting for the market to react here for me. And if I don't see any reaction here, if the market didn't come here, I'm not going to take any trade. So let's see. Please let me admit. Okay. This was, this was, this was around uh, 630, 6.30, 6.30 a.m. So the London is yet to open, which is yet to be my trading time. So I'll be waiting. I'll be waiting patiently for the market to come back here. Is that I form an M up, then I sell it down, or I see a W and a reaction at this particular point. So let's continue. So we can see the market is going. 
Okay. 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 It's coming. Can we see that? The market eventually come back to this particular point. It eventually come back to this particular zone to test this psychological level again. And this, uh, so we have our low of the week here. We have the psychological level. We have trend line here. So if I'm to take this trade, I'll be waiting for my buy here. I'll be waiting for my buy here with a very tight stop loss, just below the, the low of the week. So I'll be waiting here. We have this, we have this. We have this. This is like this is like W. We have our W here now. One. This is first leg, and the second leg is coming down. The second leg is coming down. So I'll still be waiting here for the reaction of the candle at this particular zone. Okay, it's coming. It's coming. I'm not in yet. So now I will enter this street. Can we see this? Do we understand this concept? Yes. Please yes, let yes. us ask question. Let us ask. Yes, question. we are with you. We are with you. Because I have my, I have my, yeah. I have the yes. low of the week here. That's why it's not, it's not good to. We can take it from here. We are right. But if I take my trade from mm -hmm. here, number one is not yet my trading time, which is this is not yet London. The London has not started here. So this is around uh, 11.45 a.m. And uh, the market came back eventually to react to this psychological level again and eventually gave us the first leg. So we are waiting for the second leg to come back. So we got our second leg here, the reaction here. And there was a reaction on this particular psychological level again. So this is one confluence this W is the second, and this trend line is the third, and we have the low of the week just beneath here. So there's high chances that the market is going to re react to this particular zone. So I'll be buying from here, then I'll be expecting my take profit just at the peak here. Just at the peak here. So let's see. I think I dropped this. I dropped this particular trade on the group. I think so. On Wednesday. So there we go. There we go. There we go. So I'll just take my profit here. There is a reaction here. There is a reaction to this candle here. So I'll take my profit here. I dropped this particular trade on the group. I can remember. So we can see the reaction of the candle here again. So this is around uh, 3 p.m. So we are waiting for New York. If we can get an M here. See my screen? Yeah. All right. So basically this, uh, this week, the market has just been ranging it has just been ranging so then we we have to adjust our our trend line again we have to adjust so so far so good we've traded only once now which is on wednesday so we continue so the market has actually this is thursday this is thursday morning market has just been ranging Okay. Oh. Okay. This is around uh, one p.m. Eight a.m. 
All right. Do we all understand how we got this? Or is there any question, please? Yes, we do. Okay. So we continue. This is a uh, this is Thursday. This is Thursday. Where so far we should have taken this this particular trade. This particular trade. Because we have our trend line, we have the eye uh the eye of the week. And there is a psychological level close by. And there's something like uh M here, but uh no problem. It's, so far it's not clear to us, so no issue. But this one is actually clear. So we have one already. So if we can get an M here, that would be perfect. At this particular point, if we can get an M here, because uh, we've gotten some rejection here. So, well, we are not rushing. But basically, for me, if I'm to trade this week, all I'll just be looking for is uh, is a buy. Because I we can see that uh, the buyers they have more more ends than the sellers, but the market has just been ranging between this uh psychological level twenty three and twenty four hundred and then um and this particular one twenty four five hundred. That's just the ranging zone for this week. But if we can get an M here, we can also sell it down, which is like a support and resistance. It's coming already. So I, I'm not going to take this trade, except I see it around here. All right, let me just ask question. If anyone see this kind of trade, what are you going to do? This market, this kind of market condition. You stay away. Hmm? You stay away, in my opinion. Do, do we understand this, uh, this strategy? Do we understand this strategy? Yes, sir. Okay. But the only thing I don't, I said the only thing I don't understand is where to wait for entry. I understand that you have to see M, you have to see W, even though there are different types of MW from what I've been seeing. Yes. You know? So. Okay. So where to stop? Where play. to spot your? Where to spot your entry? Right. Yes. Yeah. All right. Let's continue the back testing. So. So for this, I'm gonna ignore this. Now Thursday is gone. Now this is Friday. I think. No, this is Thursday. Today is 21. This is 20. Okay, now it's Friday. This is Friday. The market is ranging. Okay, the market is here now. So as a trader, are you going to take any action here? Or what will you do if you see this kind of market condition? With this uh, strategy we are dealing with. For me, uh, I will just check, uh, I will first of all check my uh, my trend line. Then I will try to make my trend re line relevant. Then I will look yeah. for the W. Use the trend line. Yes, I will just I will bring it down a little bit to yes, yes. I will I will adjust it to that level. Okay. Then then I will look for I will look for a little further drop. I'll just look for a W pattern. I'll look for a W pattern between so that. For this now, level, are you gonna take any action? This is around 7 a.m. No, Not no, no, yet no, no, London. 
No, 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 no. Nothing, okay. nothing is going to happen yet. So I will just, I'm, okay. I'm sure with so the we way continue. So this is it. So we have this. So we have this. We have a reaction here. So what are you going to do here? We have a reaction. I actually, I, I actually took this trade. I waited yeah. this morning. I waited for the second leg. This is around uh, 8 a.m. Yeah. This is yeah, around yeah. 8 a.m. And uh, this reaction yeah. occurred around uh, the low of the week. Yes. So, I'll just look for... Uh, so you I, took it I, from... I, you took the trade from here? No, no, no. I, I immediately I saw this. I went down to the extreme left to adjust my trend line to this level. Then I was looking for... I was looking for a buy. I was looking for a, a buy. If, if I can. Why were you uh, looking? Maybe, why were you looking for a buy? Because that is number one. There is a psychological level up there. One. Yes. Yeah. Below, yes. Then under it is a uh, low of the week. Yes. Then on, on top of the low of the week, there is a rejection there. So. Yeah. Yeah, there is a rejection and which I have my trend line. So I'm expecting a, a retracement. I'm expecting the, I'm not expecting further, especially when it goes to that level. I saw it, I spot it at that, at this point where you are. That is when I spot it. When immediately I saw it, I adjust my trend line. Then I, I was waiting. I knew it was coming back. So I was waiting for the So did you, did you buy from here or you were waiting? No, I was waiting. I didn't do anything here. I was only okay. waiting for the second leg. Okay. I didn't even take it at the second leg. I took it at the third leg because I was busy. It formed another W. If you look at it further, it formed another W, which I when immediately it break the neckline, then I bought. And I was actually able to, I was able to, because I had a drop down on my 5,000 challenge. I had a drop down. And I, I yesterday trade that I took, I took it back to four thousand nine hundred and uh, nine hundred and fifteen dollar. Okay. So okay. today, this trade that I took now make it five thousand eighty dollar. Now I'm now in five thousand eighty dollar. That's great. All right. So do we have any other opinion, please? All right. So for me, if I'm to take this trade, this kind of trade. I have the low of the week here. I have my trend line here. We have the market coming down to test this particular point, which is the low of the week and the trend line. So we already have two confluences here. And if we observe the market for this week, the market has been reacting to this particular zone, to this particular zone and here, in between here and here. So I'll be waiting for me. I'll be waiting for the market for the second leg to come back here. If the second leg comes back here, I'm not gonna enter the market. I'll still be waiting to see the reaction of the market. I'll be waiting at two points here and here. That is why it's not good to jump into the trade. So I'll be waiting here and I'll be waiting here to see the reaction of the market. If the market should come back, fine, I'm gonna take it. If it doesn't come back, then fine. It's not my trade. So let's see what eventually happened. So we can see it's going. It reacted to the eye of the week. It's coming back. It's coming. It's coming. It went past that. Then there's a reaction here. So I will still not enter. I will still be waiting. Mr. Yegra, like the question you ask, how to spot yeah. entry? So this is a yeah. very good example of how to spot an entry. So this is the first leg. If you take this, you will make profit as well, but you are not following the strategy because yeah. this is first leg. You might not know maybe it's gonna go all the way to this point or it will just come back and take you out. So we'll still be waiting yeah. for the second leg. So the second leg eventually came down. So there was a reaction here. So eventually we have one, two, one, so we'll be waiting for the another candle to see the reaction, to see the perfect uh, perfect entry. So this is around uh, 9.30, which is 30 minutes to London. Here, it's coming. 
there is a reaction. We can see this. This is my entry. If I'm to take this trade, if I'm to take this kind of trade, this will be my own entry. This will be my own entry. See, there's something that is very important. My first, my first TP will be at the at the this particular point, at the eye of the week. Why the second one will be here? Will be here. So from here, I will take fifty percent of my of my profit. From here, the second one will be here. So from here, I will take fifty percent TP one. So let's see. So uh, there's one thing that is very important if you are taking a trade. Set up your, your zone that you want to take the trade. Set up the particular zone you want to take the trade. Once you place the market, just set your stop loss. Leave it. It will either go in your favor or eat your stop loss. One of the two will happen. But you will know that, yes, you are following your, your trading plan and you are following your trading rules. So if anything should happen, you will know you are following your trading rules. So let's see what happened eventually. This is around uh, 10, 15, which London has opened. So my stop loss will I, be... I, I, yeah, boss, are you going to take... I, uh, this area you spotted your entry. Are you going to take the trade when you, when you observe the first bullish candle from the second leg or... Uh, how do you sir? Me what are you saying, please? I said at your at your second leg, that place you spotted that it will be your entry. Yes, yeah. I, I I I said, are you going to take the entry immediately? You you spot the first bullish candle. Okay, remember for my entry. At, I at the close. Okay, for my entry, I have five entry. I have five entry. Okay. This is first leg. I'm not going to do anything here. Immediately, I yeah. see this reaction here. I'm not going to do anything. I'll wait. This particular yeah. blue, the yeah. next candle that I'll call here. Yeah. This particular one. I'm not going to yeah. do anything. I've seen the reaction. Then I'll wait for this candle to open. This candle, when this candle open, yeah. let me just cut it. Okay. When this candle open, we are waiting to enter from here. Yeah. This is where I'm waiting. I have two points yeah. where I'm waiting, two areas, here and here. Yeah. Okay. So when I see this, you can see this particular I candle. I'm not going to enter yeah. because I don't know if it is going down. Yes. So I'm not going to do anything because I don't know if the market is coming down all the way here. So I'll wait. Mm. We can see the next candle. Remember, we're on 15 minutes. We can mm. see the next yes. candle. It's open and then there was a reaction here. Definitely, this yes. area is very, very strong. So mm. when I see this, I will not do anything again. I'll wait. To okay. see the next candle, to see what's going to happen. Yeah. Then here comes the next candle. Here comes the next candle. We can see it It went down, then gave us a bullish engulfing. So from here, I'm going to enter. From this particular so point, you, I'm going to enter my trade. So you wait for it to close, this strong bullish one? Yes, I'll wait for this oh. to close. Okay. I'll wait for this to enter. Now I have one entry here. I have one entry now. And my stop loss is going to be 20 pip. My stop loss is going to be 20 pip. This is 18. Okay, we might not use 20 pip here. We might use it like, okay, here. I might use 15 pip on this trade. My stop loss will be 15 pip. So I'm risking 15 pip on this trade. So I want to see the reaction, the next candle now. So I have this as the next candle. I have this. You can see what's happening now. You can see. You can see. 
So I will enter another one here. That's my second entry. I still have three okay. bullets. I still have three okay. more bullets. So we have it. We have this. We have this. We have this. So we can see this. So eventually that's my TP1. Okay. So that's my TP1. Because I'll be expecting a reaction from this eye of the week. I'll be expecting mm -hmm. a reaction from here. So okay. why do I take this? I have one, two, and I have W here. Yes. Which is, I have three confluences. Mm. I have three confluences there. So now, now exit strategy. What's the time now? Okay, this is, this is around 130. Is it? So we see this is my TP1. This is my TP1. So we can see a reaction here. When you talk about exit strategy, we can see a reaction from this particular point. Yeah. So let's see. So eventually, if I see this, I'll close my trade. If I see this, I'll close my trade there because there's possibility of the market coming down or going up. And I already make how many pip from eight or uh, eight, let's say, let's say 850 to this. So I already make like uh, 360 pip, which is okay. That should be around, and I'm risking 15 pip. So that's around uh, 1 to 2, 1 to 2 to point, uh, 1 to 2.2 2 risk to reward for me. So eventually, let's see what happens. So eventually, make market comes down. So this is the current market we have now. This is around, uh, this is around 2. This is New York. So do we have any question on what we did here? So now there's a breakout here. If I'm to take this market, I'm going to buy this market now. If I'm to take this market, this particular one, there's a breakout here. But I'll wait for the market to pop up, up to this point, up to this area. Up to this. If it break above, I'll wait for the next candle to open here. If next candle open here, I'll buy this market, this current one. Then my stop loss will be under this. Let's buy it together now. Let's... Let's hold on about this thing together. Let's do this thing yes, together. Right, this thing. Thing. I'll wait for the next candle. The next candle is going to close in the next two minutes. I came in late, so I cannot. I cannot bring people back. I will just go. I will just go with the with the remaining one. Sir, what are you saying, please? I said. I said I came in. I came in very late. I came in very late, so I I cannot bring people back. So I will just flow with the with the one that I met now. Because if I start asking questions, my question will I will just flow with the what is what is happening. Okay. So uh this candle can we can we call it a hammer? Which one? New candle has opened. New candle has opened. Please, I want to send. I forgot to send this link. Okay. Okay. So I'm gonna buy this. This is definitely. Brilliant. I'm gonna buy this. This is yes. this is an entry candle. But let's wait for the candle. This is an entry candle. Ah, I have to. Yes. I'm gonna buy this. I've entered my first. I've entered. I've entered my first leg now, and the stop loss is gonna be. Let's follow. I'm in, I'm in profit. I'm in profit already. The take profit is gonna be at this same point again. So the stop loss will be. Six three four. That's my stop loss. 1.234? Yes. 
So I just miss I miss that entry. I wish. Let me. Okay, I think it's interesting. Do we understand it, this concept? Yes. Yes. Or is there any question you are free to ask? I have two accounts. Hey, I need Hello? to. Hello. Can can I can I make an observation? Please, you can. I need to enter this. I don't want to miss this trade on this. <laughs> I have two that's, accounts. That's, that's yes, it's necessary. Okay, sir. Let's have it. Hello. Yes, please. We are with you. Yes, I said. If I if I can make an observation, if you yes, please. if you if you if you are on fifteen minutes, that that uh single candle might be a little confusing. But if you step down to five minutes, you will see that there is a very big bullish candle engulfing about six candles together. This is fifteen minutes. Five minutes on GU. Well, actually, it's, the it's, strategy it's, we are using is on uh is is on fifteen minutes. So this is five minutes. Exactly. I'm only saying. Please excuse me. Please excuse me. Please excuse me. Please. We are in profit. I hope we are buying this. I hope we are buying this. I hope we are yes, buying I'm this. Buying. Yes, I'm in it. I'm in it already. With I'm in profit day. now. I'm in profit now. I'm in profit now. Yes. So I'm, a, I'm buying on my two accounts. I'm uh, buying this on my two accounts. I might take I profit. Is going to be. My take because today is Friday and this is around five eighteen. My take profit is going to be twenty four one four zero. Amazing! Amazing! This is great. This tata tata is too strong. <laughs> Confirm. <laughs> Any I hope we are making money on this. I hope we are making I'm, I'm money on this. Yes, sir. You are making money. This is my own. This is my own. This is my own. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We need to make it. Let's go. Go up. Up. Yalla. I will be yalla. So that's it. That's it. On my two account, I'm making profit. We can see we can see that the power of psychological level. We can see the reaction on that psychological level. The can do is reacting to that particular point. So let's go. Let's go. Yeah, let's go. Show your profit. We are almost there. Almost close to PP. Let's go. Yalla, baby. Yalla. It's good we traded this yalla, thing. Bro. It's good we traded this thing live. Honestly. Honestly. Mm. This is how to do it. So this just is simple. You know, you, yeah, they hear you talk honestly, honestly. So this is just this the is simple how to do way it. of doing this thing. This is just the simple way. Very easy. If you you don't you don't need to know more. You don't need to know much about this market. If you it's just it's just the little. If you very little thing, just to spot the key the key area. That's just the only thing you know you need. So we are going to wait for the next candle now. We are close to TP. Um, it's close to my own take profit. My take profit is 1.241. I mean, it's close to my TP. Yeah, me, I'm uh, for this. I'm closing. Take profit and close. I'm closing one of my accounts. I'll leave the second one for the next candle to open. Yeah, let's go. We can see the reaction on the eye of the week here. Yeah, we can see the to that reaction. Eye of the week and trend line update. So let's wait for the next candle. But at this point, at this point, you break even. You move your, your break even to this point. You move your break even. Oh, this zoom is about to expire again. You move your break even to at least this point. But I've already closed. I've already closed like seventy-five percent of my account here. 
because I'm out of the trade now on one of the accounts. The second one, I'll break even. My second account, I'll break even here. So I'm waiting for the next candle. If the second, next candle can pop up to this take profit, then we are done with this. And if it come down, then we have already booked some of the profits and it will eat us at a uh, break even. Then I'm going to explain something now. In the next uh, nine minutes, this candle is going to close. In the next nine minutes, it's going to close. I am already, I am out, I'm out of the trade already from $5,080 to $5,172. Wow, let's go, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> no, and my target is 8%, 8%, I'm going to 8%. Let's go, you should I pass the account, man, by Monday, by God's well, grace. By, by, by next, by Monday or That's, that's amazing, that's amazing. Post, I'm, post happy. I'm happy that's to post hear post. that, I'm happy to hear that. I hope you are trading this. Yes, so I'm All out right. already. I'm out. To, I'm out All right. Let's wait for it. It's going to eat our take profit. It will eat our take profit. Wait for it. It will eat our take profit. There are many people, many people will eventually lose money on this trade. Why? Because when the market was coming down here, they will take it. They will join the sell. They yes, will join, they join the, the sell. The they were thinking it's going down because they see something that it has break uh, this level, then it's going down. And before they know it, this candle will take them out. Yeah, that is why even, even this buy safe, this buy, some people will still lose money. Because as it's going down, they will think, okay, uh, it's going to come up. Then they will enter. That's what we call early entry. They will put their stop loss maybe somewhere here. Before you know it, they are out of it. So it's not about the signal. It's not about seeing the signal. Now I'm out of the trade, finally. I'm out of it. So it's not about seeing the signal. The exit strategy, when you see multiple rejection candle, we can see this candle. We are still, at least by now, I expect everyone to close at least like 70 to 75% of your account. You can leave the rest at break even. Then we, we wait for the next candle to see what the reaction is going to be. But I expect the next candle, even if the next candle is going to come down, even if the next candle is going to come down like this, it will first of us go up. It will first of us go up to eat this particular point and come down. Even if the next candle is going to come down, let's just wait for it. In the next uh, six, in the next six minutes, I hope this zoom is not going to stop by then. The zoom remains uh, six minutes fifty two seconds. We can see, still bullish, still bullish. So we can ask our question now, why we are waiting for the candle to close? Yeah, I think I wish this uh, is this this live section together is always interesting. Honestly. It's what? I said trading together live is always interesting. That is what I wanted to say to you. It's, it's <laughs> always, always funny. It's for always me. interesting, but staying alone is boring, honestly. Uh, no. It costs money. Jason, please don't say what you want to say. Don't say what you want to say. Now. For, for me, for me, I charge one for me, I always charge one thousand. Don't say what you want to say. I'm, now. I'm still thinking of reducing it to five hundred because I can have a, I, I have a lot of people that are like, okay, oh, uh, please do oh, the one thousand is much, blah blah blah. So, but this one, this yeah, one we are us, doing is but... free. It's free for the next one month at least. We still this is the second class, so we still have two more. So next Friday and upper one. So we can treat our uh, US if anybody, next if week. anybody, if, if for those who don't have any uh, challenge, you have not purchased challenge. I think before next Friday they should have purchased. They can make their profit next the next. Yeah, two yeah, yeah. Be, this uh, they can, they this, can win uh, the challenge. Thing. You can. I'll, I'll drop my consumer link because I bought two accounts yesterday. Uh, when I had interview with Jeff, I bought two account with Consumate yesterday. So I'll drop I'll drop the link on the on the group. So for anyone that wants to register, and it's very very fast. You can even fund your account with your Naira. You just transfer. Exactly. I can walk. I you funded through. it with Naira. I funded it with Naira. Uh -huh. I, I can walk you through the process. Naira. If you don't if you don't really understand it, I can walk you through the process. It's very very easy, and you can just fund like. I think that's like seven for ten thousand dollar account. That's like seventy five thousand naira, which is uh pretty easy. Yeah, the five thousand I, I bought is. Uh, I think they have five thousand too, or so, right? The five thousand I bought is seventy thirty seven thousand. Uh -huh. so, they give me ten percent discount. Because me, I, I don't, I don't advise people trading on demo. 
I don't advise Honestly. demo because there's nothing in demo. Instead of trading demo, I prefer to advise people to trade with sent account instead of demo. Instead of using demo, sent is better. So we are still waiting for the candle to close. Okay. So we can see the reaction of the candle. Let's go to five minutes. Although this strategy, we don't use five minutes. So with this, with this candle I'm seeing on five minutes, I still see more bullish. It's going up. With this particular candle I'm seeing on five minutes, it's going up. It's still going, it's still going to push up. But from here, I take my own profit. I'm out. So let's just wait for the next uh, candle to see the reaction then. We end it for, for today. But if you have got any question, please, you can ask now before we close for the day because this Zoom is going to expire in the next two minutes, four seconds. And that will be all for today. Most this area you cycle. Yeah. I think I came here. Yeah, I came very late. I was not there when you when you when you treated that area. I actually traded it this morning and I made seventy five dollars. Okay. So this entry, what, right? What, what? Yes, yes, yes. I think it was uh for me it was like W twice in that area. <laughs> yeah. So that was how I saw it. Three uh, bottom. It has three three bottom. I took well, it at the third leg. Well, yes. well, from here, from this particular area, yes. all, all the, all the, yes. all the noise that is happening here at this particular point. Yes. Okay, yes. yeah, the next candle yes. has opened, so I expect the candle to at least zoom up here, yeah, and then if it wants to come down, then if it's come da coming down first, it's gonna go up eventually. The meeting, the zoom is gonna end, but watch out for that candle. Wait, you can see it. If a can this is how to spot an entry. Very, very important. When you see a candle that open, if the candle is going to be bullish, it will first of all come down, just like this one comes down. You can see when it's open, it comes down because candle cannot just open and then continue to go up like that. Mm. It will leave a week, just like this one is is uh is bullish, but it's, it came down first. To leave a week, then eventually it goes up. Like this one now, it open, it leave a week. Then I expect it to push up to this point, at least. Do we understand this concept? Yes. So, you ask a question about this place. For this place. All right, guys. So thank you for watching today. If you know you enjoyed this video, please uh, click on the like button, subscribe to my channel. Okay. So now I'll be dropping some beginners content and uh, analysis on my on my channel. Till I come your way again, this is Omojason YK signing out.